Hello, this is Jill from Stamp pa from Paper Daisy Crafting. I'm a Stamping Up demo here in the UK, um, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial to make this pretty card. Right up front, I need to say a big thank you to Leonie Stewart. This card was cased um, from her. Um, I really loved how she'd placed the flowers and put everything together. So I've, I've, I haven't used the same colours, but I have more or less cased it from hers. Um, she's a, like I said, an Australian demo. I think it's Stamping with Leone is her blog. So have a go and have a jump over there. There is a link on my blog to her as well. Right, okay. So let's get going. I'm using the Pierced Blooms some stamp um, dies, which coordinate with the In Bloom stamp set, but can obviously be used on their own. There's lovely, loads of dies in this set. It's a really good value set. Um, I love it and I love the stitching on them all, the piercing, really gorgeous, loads of leaves, loads of different flowers, loads of flower centres, really nice label, really nice bow, really, really worthwhile set if you're thinking about it. Okay, and so I'm going to get started now, it looks really easy to start with, it just looks like I've just put a plonked a few dye dies down and put the die over top but actually it's a little bit more complicated than that because I wanted to get some dimension but I didn't want to them to be, all be on dimensional so I've they've got they've got partial um bits on dimensional so I just want to see how to show you how I achieved that just to give it a bit more life um so we're starting with a normal card blank this is um 14 and a half by 10 and a half um, in our thick basic white cardstock, which is gorgeous and smooth and a lovely white. I'm very fussy about my whites. It needs to be a nice white. I can't have bright whites or blue whites. I need a nice white and our card is perfect for it. Right, I've already done a load of die cutting. So I'm going to be working in polished pink and coastal cabana today with the little flowers are going to be in a daffodil delight. So I'll just get them on camera for you there. And then I've got some white leaves and some white flower centers as well. Get those if I can pick them up. They're quite fiddly to pick up all these pieces. There we go. So I've done quite a lot of die cutting already because I thought that would be a bit boring for you to watch. So I'm gonna start off with this big. So I've cut one of this big flower. So this, it's this get the dies out again it's this die this die here that I've used for that one so I'm going to plant that fa fairly in the middle I'm just going to do a little bit of curving of the petals just because I don't want it to lay exactly flat because I'm going to pop some some other flowers underneath it so I'm just going to pop that in the middle there with a little bit of glue in the center And then I'm going to take, I've got the same colour, and this is a smaller flower. This is this flower here. This one, not that one. Put that over there, that one. Um, and I, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to pop two petals up on dimensionals, and then I'm going to put glue on the others. So it will be up at one side, but down at the other. So I've got two dimensionals on there. Take off the backing and then a little bit of glue and then pop that one. So it's the same colour, which is a similar thing to what Leone did and I just like the idea of it really. I probably, if I'd been doing it myself, would have gone with different colours here, but I quite liked what she'd done. So, And I'm going to do the same with this one. So I'm going to put two dimensionals. I made this um, card for a blog hop where the theme was something old something new so my dies were my something old <coughs> oh, excuse me and the thanks die was my something new as the thanks die is part of the amazing thanks die set that's in the new catalogue and that will get a, a lot of work in my craft room because I'm always sending out thank you cards to various people right that's going to go there and again that all oh, need to turn around a bit I've got that there. So you can see these edges are just up a little bit. I hope you can see that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Right, and then let me just have a drink of water. Right, and then I'm going to take these, um, the same die, but in pink. And again, I'm going to raise up two of the petals. 
So this way, it just gives you a little bit more dimension on your card, but you don't get the bulk of having lots and lots of dimensionals. Um, so this is going to go... It needs to glue down. Um, put some glue on here. Um, this is going to go pop in here. Where's my dimensionals? Yeah, like so. And then the other one is going to come over the other side. Exactly the same thing. So it's very easy to do, but it just gives you that little bit more dimensional dimension for your project. And I really like it. There we go. A bit of glue, a little bit of Tombow on the petals there. And this one's coming over here like so. And then I've just got one more flower just to tuck in here, somewhere like that. Um, and so, oh, is that the right one? Yeah, it is the right one. Just wondered if I'd, I'd done the right, right, um, did I cut the right flower? But I think it is right. Um, there we go. So again, two, two little dimensionals, two mini dimensionals on there, and then pop it underneath the others and glue it down. And so you haven't got loads of loads of bulk there. There we go. And then we've got our leaves to add. So we're going to put a dimensional on the back of each of the top leaves. So just the top one. Is it just the top one? Oh, I think I put them on. I think I put them on two leaves on some, three leaves on some, and just the top one on others. So I will do that one. So that one and that one are flat. So I'll just do. Can't remember what I did now. Only a couple of days ago that I made that other card. My memory is shocking. Right, there we go. Right, so let's get this one. So we need to work out where we want it to go. So I'm going to have to cut off. There we go. Um, yeah. Yeah, that'll be okay. Do that there. So just take the backing off your dimensionals. If you didn't use dimensionals, this would all be glued down flat and it wouldn't wouldn't have so much life, I don't think. I think it would. I'm just going to trim off a little bit of that stem. I don't think we need that as much as it was. There we go. Just pop that under there. And then one of the others, again, cut off the stem. And this is going to fit under there. So, a little bit of glue on here, which I forgot to do on the other one, and just to hold that end down, it pops under there. And then the last one, I really love these pierced bloom dies so much. I think they're one of my favourite products in the annual catalogue, and they make there's so many opportunities to make great cards with them. And that's just going to go, yep, just hang down there, I think. There we go. Right, and then we're gonna, just going to fill up some of these spaces with some little flowers. And I'm doing daffodil yellow. My, my earlier card, I used fresh freesia, polished pink, and the little flowers were pale papaya. Now I'm using coastal cabana and polished pink. And... Um, the flowers in Daffodil Delight. So just a little bit of, little bit of um, yellow highlighting here. And on my other card, I did actually, I don't know if you can catch it in the light on the camera, but I did actually use Shimmer Crystal Effects on my Thank You. But I don't know that I like it that much on that. Um, I just wanted to find a use for it, but... I'm not going to do it on this one because I think I prefer the thanks as, as matte, so it matches in with the other um, the other dyes. Um, so I'm not going to do that, but 
Um, if you like that effect, we do have shimmery crystal effects in the catalogue, which is just like a glue. It's quite a good glue, but it will also leave a glossy um, effect on your projects. And I've probably cut too many um, Daffodil Delight flowers, but that's all right. I'd rather have too many than not enough. There we go. Do I need any more? I might put one there actually, as I've got some spare. And then I'm going to add the, the centers to these flowers. So I've got six little dotted circles that I can just place in the middle here. Um, so, how have you all been doing? Feels like ages since I've been on camera, actually. It's been a while. I've been struggling to get myself into action, actually. I keep spending a lot of time prevaricating and not actually getting anything done. Um, but things are coming together now. Um, beginning to be a bit more productive. I think I was weighed down because I had my tax return to do. And the trouble is when I've got my tax return to do, I find it really difficult to focus on anything else. And yet I don't really want to do my tax return. So I end up wasting a lot of time. Um, but it's done now. It's done and it's paid and it's all done for another year. So uh, and I am going to be try and be better about keeping up to date this year. So let's see. Hold me to that. Right. I say, and then we're just going to put the thanks across the middle here, which is beautiful. Um, so a little bit of glue on here. Just, um, I did think about putting this on black dimensionals, but the, the, there's such tiny, thin little letters. I thought it would be a bit of a struggle to get them on without seeing them. And I did think it doesn't really need it. It's fine, just stuck across there. So that's a very easy little card but I think very pretty and wouldn't it be lovely to get something like that just to say thank you. So there we go, two colourways. Hope you like that project. Of course, everything that you might want to buy is down there if you want any of the products that I've used today. Um, just get in touch if you've got, oh, I haven't, fin I haven't finished, oh no. Doing my end of video blur blurb and I haven't put my black dots in. These are lovely, these are um, matte black dots. Um, and I love them, especially when you, you've used any black in your project. They're just great for adding a little bit of highlight to your card. So um, I think they really bring out the black. Let me just. And I know I know like to go with the uneven numbers, but I am just going to do six, I think, like that. There, now we're finished. So yes, as I was saying, if you've got any questions, please get in touch. I love, um, I like helping you all to get all your things made properly. Um, so yeah, thanks very much for watching. I hope I haven't rambled too much. Um, I hope you like the card and I hope I see you again very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.